Hey guys, Annie here. Welcome back to Build Stella. Today we are in the world of Newcrest and we are going to build a family home. So what we're going to do, this is episode three of Anna's Builders Club and I have designed on grid paper a four by two bedroom home and we're just going to have some fun today. So because this is actually um, designed on grid paper, I am going to take a moment to just kind of really build out the shell. I will explain where rooms are as I build them, but initially I will need to start with 11 tiles. Two, four, six, eight, 10, not 11, 16, 10, 12, 14, 16. So that's going to be, I will move the property as I'm doing it, if just for the spacing. I did pick a nice big lot. So we are going to then, this is going to be the kitchen portion. And I really like this house because back in the old days before YouTube, I built this house that had like a kitchen and dining section and it was like all in one and I am obsessed with it because I actually played um, a personal save in that house the other day and I literally was looking for that house because I adored it so much. So that's why we're doing it in this build because I really wanted to emulate that too. So this is going to be our master bedroom here to, I think it's four. Yeah. And then you go out to, up to, so out to, up to. So that's going to, oh, what have I done? That's going to be a bedroom. These are bedrooms over on this side. This is more like a wing because you guys know that I do that. I very much like have wings when I build. All right, something isn't right here. What's going on? So, so two and two, and then it should go four, two, four. Okay. Across one. And then it, this bit here should be three. So I think I actually had to go above. Yep. And then two, four. So what we'll do is we will delete that wall. So this is our shell. This is our weird shell. I will move it because obviously it's not really positioned on the lot the way I'd like it. But this is a porch and then at the back here, I don't know why I've done this, but I believe I've put the porch here. Um, I may alter it, but I've put the porch there. All right, so let's do the inside floor plan. This is the bit that I obviously know about because I've designed this on grid paper. All right, so we're going to start from here and we're going to go four down four across two and then I believe yep all right so this is where we're going to have our kitchen so you're going to have your back door access to the backyard and you're going to have a dining so this is what I mean by that setup and you've got your kitchen and your dining this is going to be like a study and a skill room you're going to have a massive wraparound hallway as you guys can probably imagine I like to do those so two by four that's going to be a living room we're then going to have a bathroom and then we're going to have yep a bedroom that's a bedroom there we're also going to do it should be two tiles bedroom there and then i think it goes like that bedroom there and then you've got it's like that that's your master bedroom and then this here is that doesn't seem very big sometimes when i do it on grid paper the scale is a bit off so i just need to make sure that the sims can actually access all of these rooms it looks like they should be able to, but that, again, that's going to be a tiny bathroom. Both bathrooms in this home are actually really small because we're on a bigger lot. I will actually expand upon this. So I might make this these rooms bigger. I could make this bathroom a little bit longer and I don't really want to, because this is our living room. This is how, it's a very small living room. Maybe I will extend the porch that way and bring this out, give more room. Yeah, I'm happy with this being small. This could be a nursery. I'm just more thinking about like kids rooms and whether I want to have like teenagers in them because I want the rooms to be a bit bigger. This is really tiny, teeny tiny. This is a study, so that's fine. Hallway's fine, kitchen's fine. I'm just trying to think of ways. And then maybe this could come out to here. And I'm going to pull this back, which is going to then allow me to give a little bit more room to there. I think that's smart, but that's not going to be a functional hallway. So I'm then going to have to cut in from there. That looks better. Yeah, that looks better. That looks like more of a bathroom now. As long as I can fit a door here, I think that's where the door needs to be. Or I could even bring that back a tile. 
that's not gonna matter yeah I think that's still a pretty decent sized master bedroom and then this room will be like a nursery and then I think we're gonna have to go to kids rooms they just seem really small maybe I could just give them an extra tile either side that can be like a skinny bathroom that would be a living room okay I think this is okay maybe it does just need to be like bigger <laughs> oh but maybe I got maybe I add a little bit more shape to the front and I do that instead oh I like that okay all right let's lock this in this I might extend to there and maybe out I don't know and then I'm happy with the front porch okay okay let's move the house because i think that it's in a really weird position let's try that that looks okay to me that doesn't look too bad all right let's go ahead and roof this so i think i'm gonna start with this back section i don't know pull it across i think i'm gonna copy it and pull it over i think i want this part to then poke through so this part will lower obviously a half gabled roof rotate it and pull it across because this is going to go over that porched area i think that lines up yeah that lines up yeah it looks a bit on the side there that looks okay that looks fine um i do think we need to yeah i just think that looks a little bit neater oh what's happening over here oh no okay i don't know if this is gonna work here we have to figure something out we could just literally pull this whole thing across it's a lot easier and it's going to look neater and then we could do the exact same at the front i have no idea i didn't plan see this is the thing when you do like a floor plan i don't plan on the exterior so i have no idea how it like turns out in the end i just know how it looks do i want to cover that porch or do i just want to cover that bit of because this is a bit awkward here because can i just pull this forward no because that looks really weird hey maybe i'll pull that back yeah that looks better okay okay i think i'm happy with that it looks a bit weird but i think i'm happy with it. i think that's okay i think i'm i'm down maybe do that so that this looks a little bit more even on both sides yeah all right let's go and bring this up so i've pressed the double arrow there to move the foundation up i'm just gonna go around with some white roof trim to begin until i am sure of what i want to do but i think this is okay i, I kind of like it i do kind of like it if we wanted to we could extend the um we could extend the porch and that would kind of make sense to why you'd have like this covering but i don't know i do kind of like that though Oh, I do, do like that. Maybe I'll break it in by one. And then here, I think, why not just break that across? I think that looks better. Huge backyard in this home. Let's just go in with a fence so that I can kind of get, see. Let's go, how far out? Oh, wow. Yeah, this is a huge backyard. I think the best place to actually end this backyard would be this fence would be here which is what you want for like a you know a four bedroom home so i'm just going to do that for a gate opening so we're obviously going to have the path extend that way so just so that i can kind of i don't know if i'm going to use terrain tool i might use paving uh what paving do i want to use i think is it this one this is my favorite this is like my absolute fave absolute babe uh let's just do this yep i think i'm happy with that then maybe we'll pave because i'll do trees there and then maybe some trees there and then we can how do i want to do this because i feel like i definitely want to do we do like a pool maybe we'll do that bit there for landscaping 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 definitely here so do we pave the rest of it or do we keep some grass but just pave that portion because you'll want to put like a pool in and then a little barbecue area maybe here and then the pool can go like there we could even extend it to there that's a huge pool yeah i think that's fine or do i want to make it yeah no i prefer that 100 percent. and then you'll need to then do that because that's around the pool 
And then you've got like a little grassed area. Do we want to do like garden? Should they have chickens? I know this is weird, but like, should they have chickens? I don't know. I think family homes with chickens are cool. Um, but maybe they do have like a little garden area. And then we'll do like a garden and then like a little grassed area here and then maybe some play equipment. Yeah, and then just do like a little barbecued area, a garden patch here, uh, landscaping here. And that's the good thing about using tile is you can literally, oh, you can just draw in. I'm going to have to go with the eraser tool. I'm a huge person in precision, so I like to clean up my work. You do not have to. All right, uh, let's do that there and over here. Cool, so that's looking quite nice, which means we're going to have to put our stairs there. I will potentially, depending on how I like it, whether I like it or not, may ex like make this like this. I think that will be better just so I've got more room for my stairs. It's very like, it reminds me very much of how I used to build. I haven't built Suburbans in a very long time. <laughs> All right, uh, we are in New Crest. There's lots of these European trees. Maybe I'll put a tree here and then another tree because that's a lot of trees in that area there. Maybe I'll put another tree here. Speaking of aesthetic, I don't know what I want this house to look like in terms of exterior. Let's go in with. Oh, I haven't used these ones. These are the square post railings. This is just base game. Square post railing. I think this is the one that matches. Pretty confident. Contrasting fence. Super pretty. Love this. Just going to fence this. And I'm going to go in with the stairs here and probably do that so that it matches. Love that. Okay, where did those? Yep, cool. So we've got some fence and some stairs. Next thing, I will go in with some columns. All right, holding down shift so that I can, you know, go around the property. I think that that's okay. All right, foundation for this build. Oh, and we were thinking base game. I do like this, this vintage Vista foundation. Could go in with the woody. I like the woody. All right, let's go in with this one today. All right. It's harder because we did it by a floor plan, so it's all in little sections. So you just have to make sure that you've got the foundation all the way through. Okay, roof patterns. Okay. Um, and we're thinking base game. So as you can see, this is a sea of Anna builds. <laughs> <laughs> so I can't really pull inspiration off of an EA build because it's all Anna. Um, but what I've used is a lot of shingled roofs. So maybe we do that. But you could just go in all... All right, I think I'm going to go with this one, actually. I think it just looks a little bit more, like, uniform to what's around us. I'm going to leave the white for now because I don't know how... I don't know what I'm going to do for wallpaper. Probably a sliding. I don't know. Should I do a blue Suburban? Because that's original. Oh, blue Suburbans. We need some more sliding. I feel like I've used all of this so many times. It's been a while since I've used this blue. All right, let's go with this. See how we like this. I don't know. And then maybe, maybe I'll just do it all the same color. Yeah. Okay. I do think we're going to go in with, I'm going to go back to roof trim and I'm just going to put, I actually think a thicker roof trim on this house wouldn't actually be too bad. Kind of like it with the thicker roof trim. I don't usually use this roof trim, but I'm going to use it. Let's get in to a front door and some windows. Okay. Um, so, so far we're doing base game. So I guess this is a base game build. Okay. We don't have a lot of room for a door, so we might actually go in with something like this. These ones look really pretty. I've not used these. So I might go in with a diamond panel entry door with window fan light. That is the longest name. Sims team. Like, could you get any longer? Oh, and we could do like a blue door. Oh, <gasps> Oh, I like that. Like a little bit more of the blue. All right, so let's talk windows, base game. Do we want to do shutters at the front? 
I think we do. Do they come in the same brown? Please do. I'm trying to match the shutters. So it'd probably be like that. Okay, so you have window there, window there, window there. You probably would have a window there, but I don't want to do the same window. So then do I just go around with white? I think I do. I just go around with white. So I'll go white, window here, window here. I probably want a bigger window there. And then I will want big windows at the back here. Unless I put like a couple of them together. I mean, these are nice, but they're a completely different vibe. Unless I change the vibe. I mean, that's an option. I think for now, I'm just going to have to put a couple of them together because they're not going to be the way that I like them. Now that just looks silly. And of course, with the floor plan, like this could all be in the wrong position. That's why I'm thinking I need a decent window. No, I can't do it. It looks weird. Yeah, it just looks weird. So I'm just going to go back to white. Yeah, white's... <laughs> I don't know why I do anything different. I do... Do I like the blue? Because that's the blue that matches. But I kind of like a little bit of brightness. I'm going to leave that there and like see if I like it. I'll come back to it. Okay, so let's go inside. All right, let's go inside and double check that we are happy. I think I made, yeah. I mean, I could be moving that door. This window needs to go here. That's a bathroom. It's okay that it doesn't have a window. That bedroom's got enough light. That's got an extra column. Let's get rid of that. All right, so let's get into the wallpaper. So I am thinking that, where is it? I did, the I've been framed is a really good option, but I could go with this one and it's got a little bit of blue to it. Oh, that might be a better option. So I'm just going to put them everywhere except the bathrooms. I am going to delete this extra column because we don't need that. Uh, bathrooms, let's just go with, because we are keeping it base game. Maybe like a light blue tile for flooring. I want like a lighter blue. Yeah, that's the matching tile for the bathrooms. And then the rest of the flooring, we will go a wooden floor, maybe. I like that. That's just the first option, the limber, lumber, traditional hardwoods, fashion hardwoods. I don't know what the difference is, but these ones are fashion. Um, yeah, let's go with that. I'm going to change the direction. I'm going to press the um, right bracket key and I'm going to hold down shift just to put that flooring in the rest of the house. And there you have it. So that will be our floor plan. So again, the way that I am going to choose to do this is this will be the kitchen dining. I'm then going to have a study here and a skill room, hallway, bathroom. I might even put that door there. I'm not sure. This is the master bedroom. Uh, this will probably be, I think I might be able to do a kid's room or like a nursery. Uh, we might be able to fit one teen's room in here or a kid's room, but like these are alternating. These are essentially three additional rooms and your master. This is going to be the living room, which I need to put a door. So I don't know, but I could do access here might be able to so I'm going to put a door there door there so that's going to be your living room kitchen dining as we said and that's pretty much the floor plan and the house so let's just quickly do some landscaping I do want to keep everything base game because that's what we've been doing maybe I'll go in with these pale layloing flowers and just kind of line this area I do like that I'm just gonna start by doing that Again, you could like size these up to, so that you would have to place less. It's always like a trick I like to do. These are nice. I've not used these before, but we could just like literally line this front section with these bulbous bush. I don't know why it's named like that. Oh, Sims team, bulbous bush. Okay. I don't mind that. That's kind of pretty. And then I think I could... Or I could extend this out just a little bit, just a little bit and put some white hydrangeas in there. Maybe like just reduce the size. Oh my God, I live. Okay, <laughs> I'm obsessed. All right. 
Okay, I think that's pretty. Um, for this side, let's just go, what do we wanna do on this side? I'm thinking we do like a hedge. That's a bit better. And then maybe we just do the laloing flowers. I'm not really expecting much from this landscaping. I just wanna do something a little different to what I normally do, which is just use white hydrangeas and palms everywhere. <laughs> I mean, we could put one, but I think that would look a bit weird. Oh, we could put a palm here. Yeah, oh, that's actually really nice. I like that. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Let's do that. And then we could put some hydrangeas in this side. Oh, I like it. It's pretty. It does make me want to do it at the front though. Maybe I will do it at the front just so that it looks cohesive. Again, I am using the left bracket key to down size those hydrangeas. <gasps> Doesn't that just look so pretty? Oh, I live. <laughs> This is the things that excite me, guys. It's it's like plants and landscaping. I think we just do maybe like a second palm and then some low-laying flowers in this area. Yeah, I, I, I think we just keep it super simple. And then we go in with some rocks. I live. Actually, don't need that rock there. But yeah, that's pretty. Okay, cool. And then at the back here... I think I want to do a hedge along here. There we go. That looks good. Um, here. I did like those bulbous. Maybe these would look nice, the back here. Maybe I'll go in with these. Again, I am just using the shift key and alt placing. All right. Is there another bit of... Ooh, what's these like? Um, these are quite nice. Yeah. Oh, the oops daisies I love that they're called that. <laughs> love that they're called that. Um, let's go in with... I mean, the sun bushes are fine. All right, let's go in with these. I'm just going around the build, around this area. I'm going to size up. No. Sometimes it doesn't work to size up. Like, it just doesn't look right. And that was a time where it just didn't look right. I'm happy with that. I think that's pretty... I do think it needs something to lift it though. Maybe I'll put, I don't know what these are. They're like Lily of the Valley squares. Okay. I just think that it adds a little bit of greenery. That's the same color as the hedging behind it. So I just think it suits way better than Laloing Flowers would. And I don't normally use it, so. We're using something different today, guys. I like it. Let's just line this up, making sure that I am happy with it. Because that's another reason we use that paving is so that we can be super precise. And then that's going to be the garden, which I will need to... I think it'd be nice to have maybe like a bunch of some hydrangeas in and around the area. I think that's nice. Yeah. That's like jumbo hydrangea. We don't need that. <laughs> we don't need massive. I like it. And maybe we could just make like a little path. Yeah. Oh, that's so sweet. Okay. Okay. I'm happy. Yeah. All right. Let's go in with some dirt. I'm just going to put some dirt under these hydrangeas and make sure that everything else has adequate terrain paint i believe it does oh just this bit here maybe add some more terrain paint here yeah there we go that looks better Alrighty, and oh the only thing i didn't do is i always make sure that i've got a mailbox and a bin i just for some reason i think this mailbox really suits so we're gonna go with this mailbox i'm just gonna put it there and base game, so where's our traditional bin that we always use? And I'm just gonna tuck it here. Got like a little spot for it there. All right, so there we have it. We have our landscaping shell and our floor plan done. I will now go ahead and decorate this and I will show you a final tool when it's done. All right, hey guys, we are now live in game and we are going to do a quick house tour. So I have decorated this home 
off camera and I did keep it base game. I made sure that I kept it base game and I may have adjusted some windows or a door slightly. Um, that's just part of what I needed to do when decorating. But for the most part, is it exactly what we saw, what we um, built live? So let's start with this landscaping. You guys saw all this, so uh, no changes there. We do head to the back of the property and this is all brand new. So I've furnished this and as I said, I kept everything base game. So you've got this beautiful like built in like bar and grill area. I really loved this. A little bit of seating, some pool chairs. This is our little garden and then just some monkey bars and I just kept it really sweet because you know I it was a big backyard it's a huge backyard and I actually really think that this is a really nice lot I don't use this lot a lot this is the Midtown Meadows lot in Newcrest and I just really adore it um, you can see that uh, it's right across the road from all of my other Anna builds so I've definitely been building in this safe uh, we've got a chess table and a bit of music and we've just got a bench at the front of the property. All right, so let's go through. So you head through the front door and I didn't do anything in these hallways because it is just for me to show you how to deck, how I would decorate this house. I'm not gonna re put this on the gallery. So uh, what's on the gallery is just a shell and the floor plan is for you to be able to download and do what you like. So you head through the front door and into this first room and this is into the study so just a really simplistic i love the blue and the beige in here and the browns it's got some skill building but yeah everything is base game so we do head down that hall i put in an archway instead of a door and this heads into that oh i'm missing a bit of wallpaper and this heads into that open kitchen dining area i love this um, as I said, this was done in a previous build that I had built uh, way before I was on YouTube and I just really enjoyed it. So I thought I would recreate it and I just really love the colors in here, the yellows and the browns, pops of pink. Uh, so I did keep this door. So this door heads through into the living room, but you also have a main door that goes into the living room. So this is just some greens and browns just got uh we've got some toys and stuff there that's for the children we've got a bookcase stack of books tv you had oh sorry at the front so back here you do have one bathroom so this is one of two bathrooms this has a tub and a shower the other bathroom has a shower tub combo other than that they are exactly the same except for the potty that's in this bathroom because it's closest to the toddler's room but they are identical, those two bathrooms. So let's get into the bedroom. So you head down the hall and this was our bastard bedroom. I found this bed originally and then I went with the purple and kind of gray scale. And I just think it's a really like, just a simplistic room, has everything you need. Uh, and yeah, that's your master bedroom. Down the hall, I've done a toddler's room. Again, these are actually all really reasonable size rooms because we did expand the floor plan a little bit. So um, you could make all of these children's rooms or you could have two teen rooms and a child's room. I've done a toddler, a child and a teen. Uh, so this is our toddler's room. And then we go into the, uh, the child's room. I really liked this kind of cyan blue. It's really pretty with the dinosaurs. <laughs> And yeah, I just, I don't know. I just kept it very basic. Again, this is just to showcase how I would furnish this home. And then back in to this teens room, which yeah, lots of pink and the greys. Kind of similar to the master bedroom, but it's just pink instead of purple. I really like it. But yeah, uh, either way, you know, you could chop and change this if you wanted this to be the master bedroom and what have you. Uh, they are furnished pretty similar. And yeah, so as I said, this is the back door. So you would head through the back to get to the back of the property. But that's the build today, guys. Uh, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And as I said before, this shell of this build will be available on the gallery. Download it, change the floor plan, decorate how you'd like, and let me know, send me a copy. And with that, I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.